Hello guys, so once again welcome back to Chili Philly and today I am going to show you how to make this kind of animation of a coffee cup as you can see on the screen that uh, there is a coffee cup and it, there are hot wells that are coming out of the coffee cup okay so I will show you how to make this animation in uh, HTML and CSS only here I am not going to use any kind of JavaScript so here are two files of one of CSS and one of HTML and uh, I have the basic HTML skeleton here and uh, now I'm giving it the title of a coffee cup and now we have to link our style sheet and we have to reference it by its part and that is uh, coffee underscore cup dot css okay so now in the main body tag i'm going to open a div tag and giving it the id of a cup and now i'm going to close it okay now inside this i'm going to open another list and closing it And inside this, I'm going to open list items. This list items is for the hot waves that are coming out of the coffee cup. And I'm pasting it four more times to create more hot waves. And uh, after this, I'm going to open one more div tag with the ID of the plate that will be placed under the coffee cup okay so i'm going to save it and uh, opening in the browser okay you can see there is nothing so now we have to write the css code for making that animation so first of all i'm going to give starting to the body and setting the background to x color of 191970 and setting the margin to 0 and fading to 0 ok and uh, now I am going to target the id of cup and setting the position of uh, absolute for the animation purposes and setting top to 50% and uh, also setting the left to 50% and I'm transforming and translate to mi minus 50% from x axis and minus 50% from y axis this will help us to center down our cup and our plate now I'm going to apply the width to 150 pixels and height of 160 pixels okay and setting the background to white color that is fff now i'm going to give the border bottom left radius to 20 pixels and i'm going to copy this and pasting this and changing the left to the right okay so now i'm going to open in the browser and refresh it so you can see there is a nice cup okay and uh, we have set that uh, border left and right because we want this border radius of 20 pixels here okay so now for the cup before and uh, this will be for the copy okay here i'm going to write this this code is for the copy okay and now i'm setting the content to blank and position to absolute 
for the animation purposes and setting the top to zero pixels and also setting the left to zero pixels because we want our coffee to held on the top of our cup and now I'm giving the height of 30 pixels and giving it the width of 100 uh, percent okay so it will cover our whole cup and i'm going to border radius to 50 percent and i'm also giving the background color to x color of 631 and now i'm giving the border of 7 pixel solid and of x color fff or the white color and a box sizing to border box for the animation purposes and transform and translate y to minus 50 percentage okay and i am also giving the box shadow to inset and uh, 0 pixel from x axis from y axis 0 pixel and 15 pixels of blur effect and of rgba 0 0 0 0 and of opacity of 0.5 okay so now i'm going to save it and i'm going to open in the browser and refreshing it so you can see this there is a copy you can see okay so now we have to write the code for the handle of the cup so i am targeting the id of cup once more and applying the property of after and setting the contain to blank and position to absolute and setting the top to 48 pixels because the handle of our cup must be in the center of our cup and now I'm setting the right to minus 50 pixels and giving the height of 90 pixels and width of 80 pixels this will create a square of 80 pixels by 90 pixels and uh, now I'm giving the border radius to 100 percent okay and now i'm giving the background to transparent okay this will help us to show the half of our handle and giving the border to 12 pixel solid and of color white and also box sizing border box and uh, the transform property at the last and uh, translate the y-axis to minus 50 percent so now I'm going to save it and opening in the browser and refresh it okay so you can see there is a handle and uh, we are going to show and uh, the handle is showing half because we have hidden the other half handle by setting this right position okay so now we are targeting the id of plate and giving the width of 250 pixels and also the height of 30 pixels and also border bottom radius bottom left radius to 40 percent and border bottom right radius to 40 percent okay and giving the background to white color for the plate and setting position to absolute 
and giving the top to 162 pixels and you can see that we have given the height of the cup to 160 pixels here and we want some space of 2 pixels between the cup and the plate so we have set it to 162 pixels and now I want to transform and translate the x axis to minus 15 percent okay and setting some box header for good effect 4 pixels from horizontal 4 pixels from vertical axis 10 pixel blur effect and x color of 9932cc okay so now i'm save it and opening in the browser sorry there is some mistake in our code okay there is a mistake and plate and reopening the browser okay you can see this but now we have to set our plate so what we have to do we have to translate the x-axis and uh, we have to okay so we have to set it to minus 50 pixels it is not percentage and refreshing it okay you can see this the plate is uh, under the cup and uh, so now i'm going to target the unordered list and setting the margin to 0 and also padding to 0 and setting the position to absolute and setting the top to minus 50 pixels and also going to transform and translate the x-axis to 10% okay and giving the width of 100 percent okay so now for the list item under the another list and bring the list style type to none so and uh, giving the weight of two pixels for the hot waves and setting the height to 40 pixels for the hot waves and giving the background of x color ffff or you can say white and i'm going to float it to left to see in a series and setting the margin between the hot waves to 10 pixels and going to apply the animation property here and giving it the name of hot waves and it will last for two seconds and it will be linear and it will be for infinite time okay now for the keyframes of the animation hot waves and at 0% we want to transform it and translate the y axis from 0 and setting the opacity value to 1 and it will be visible and filter and blur to 3 pixels okay and now at the end of the animation i'm going to copy this and pasting it so now at 100 percent or at the end of the animation we want to transform and translate our y-axis to minus 80 pixels and setting the opacity value to zero because we want our hot waves to be disappeared and setting the blur value to 5 pixels and going to save it and opening in the browser and refreshing it okay you can see this there are hot waves and that dots are removed because we have set the list alt tab to none okay so now i'm going to give some more animation and so here i'm going to apply the ant child property for the first child I'm going to apply the animation delay animation delay to 0.2 seconds 
and now I'm going to copy this and pasting it four more times okay and for the second I'm going to set 0.6 and for the third one second this will be for second third and for the fourth 0.6 second and now for it one second this will create a nice effect as you can see now I'm going to save it and opening okay now we can see this the first wave is going to apply its animation in this with the animation delay of 0.2 second and the second will apply the animation after the delay of 0.6 second and the third will apply its animation after one second and fourth will repeat the second step okay so it's a nice effect and you can see this box shadow okay and so this is going to be a long video so i am pausing this video here and uh, i will show you this uh, text effect in the next video or you can say the next part okay so that's it for this video and i will see you guys in the very next video and if you guys really enjoyed this video then please hit the like share and subscribe okay so i will see you guys in the very next video and i will tell you how to make this kind of text effect in our video so thank you guys for watching this video.